Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna tell you the rest of the questions and their answers about CSC, the Canadian Security Course. So we are going to cover 15 answers and this is the part 3 of the video. So here you go. And I hope that you are studying with me and you are practicing before the exam because these are the questions that you cannot find on the internet right now. This is the only place and just keep reading and writing and practicing about these questions because without these certifications you cannot do anything in Canada if you want to get into mutual funds that's for sure okay so the question number one is what is the sharp ratio for a portfolio with a return of 10 percent and a standard deviation of 1.2 percent when the risk free rate is at four percent the correct answer is five Detailed answer for this question is under the video here. You can read it. Question number two, an investment advisor is evaluating a new client to determine an appropriate asset mix for her investments. The client is 45 years and single with no current or expected dependents she has been investing extensively in a wide range of investment products and is quite comfortable with risk her goal is to retire at 55 and then to travel extensively she has no wish to leave an estate state means anyone you know after her death uh, who is eligible for the money what is the most appropriate asset mix of her portfolio so the correct answer is cash 5%, fixed income 25% and equities 70%. So obviously the more exposure towards the equities will make, you know, for the long run, it will be always beneficial if you are investing into equities. Question number three, which strategies will a portfolio manager who anticipates a decrease in general level of interest rates most likely pursue? So the answer is extend the average term on bond investments held and increase the portfolio's duration. So question number four is a scenario based question. So a client has 50,000 to invest. She is a risk averse, which means she doesn't want to take any risk and doesn't want to go for equities that much and does not want any loss of her initial investment. She will use the investment proceeds to help finance the purchase of a cottage in one year. Which investment should be recommended? Simple. Treasury bill is the correct answer. Question number five. What fee might a mutual fund manager pay a mutual fund sales representative? The correct answer is a trailer fee. Question number six. A mutual fund investor sold his holdings at a net asset value per share, which is also known as NAVPS, of $11. The fund charges a redemption fee of 2% based on the NAV at the time of redemption. What is the selling and or redemption price the investor will receive? The correct answer is 10.78. Question number seven, what organization is appointed by a mutual fund corporation to collect money received from the fund buyers and from portfolio income and arranges for cash distributions through dividend payments, portfolio purchase and share redemptions? So the correct answer is custodian. Question number eight, who directly pays the mutual fund management fee? The correct answer is the fund itself. Question number nine, a mutual fund organized as an open-ended trust earns 85,000 in investment income composed of $500,000 in capital gains, $250,000 in dividends and $100,000 in interest income. How much of this investment income will be taxable to the trust? The correct answer is zero. So the question number 10 is which fund best suits a Canadian risk averse investor with a time horizon of six months? The correct answer is Canadian Money Market Fund. Question number 11. What does a mutual funds management expense ratio MER represents? The total of all management fees and other expenses charged to a fund 
and total annual cost of running the fund excluding trading or brokerage costs question number 12 an investor sets up mutual fund ratio withdrawal plan that will pay him 10% of the year end value of his mutual fund at the beginning of this year his mutual fund portfolio worth $150,000 at the end of this year his portfolio increased by 15% how much will the investor receive from his ratio withdrawal plan at the end of this year the correct answer is 17250 question number 13 is a bit longer i'm going to explain it to you and i'm going to write it down in the video so the most recent one week performance period of let's say xyz money market fund appears in the following table so the fund current yield effective yield change from previous day change from previous week and all the numbers are here so the correct answer is 2.06 and i'm going to write down the whole amount that has been calculated so you can watch the video there you go So that was question number 13 and now we are heading to question number 14. Question number 14 is what are the withdrawal requirements of a mutual fund fixed period withdrawal plan? So the correct answer is specified amount withdrawn over a predetermined period to exhaust capital when the plan ends. Question number 15 which type of mutual fund withdrawal plan has a specified amount withdrawn over a predetermined time frame so that all the capital will be exhausted when the plan ends the correct answer is fixed period withdrawal plan so there you guys these are the 15 questions for today this is the part 3 make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel for the next upcoming video which is the part 4 and again we'll go through the 15 questions very helpful you cannot find these questions and the answers keep sharing the video if you know someone is doing csc thank you so much